Yo, Xnode here, and today we got the full Rosaria guide for you. Physical DPS build. Cryo DPS build. Cryo support build. Do you need constellations, best weapons, and team comp suggestions? So with a couple of days of testing, these are my conclusions for Rosaria. She can be a decent physical main DPS. She's no Razor or Shinyan who deals most of the damage for the team. She can also be a Cryo main DPS if paired with Chongyun and deal cryo damage with her whole kit. Where she shines though is a cryo support role for your pyro main DPS as her burst provides constant cryo procs in an AoE and she provides crit rate to the whole part. Finally, you can use her as just a crit rate resource with very very low investment by using a crit rate spear like the three star white tassel and equipping with whatever crit rate main stat and substat artifacts you have. So more on the builds and the team comps later. Is she a replacement for Kaya? Kaya is still the most reliable if you're looking for only cryo application. As he has high energy recharge and his burst follows the character on the field. Rosaria's advantage is her high damage potential and crit rate transfer. I however still prefer to use her as physical main DPS and keep her on the field because waifu. Now let's talk about her kit. So this talent gives her crit rate 12% when hitting opponents from behind so you can deal with having less crit rate on her because of this. And you can easily activate the conditions of this talent by using her elemental skill which teleports her behind the target. And this works on most opponents. With her other talent, she's also able to provide crit rate to the whole party after using her burst. This gives her some great value if used as a support. Then just stack crit rate on her to get as close to the maximum 15% bonus crit rate as possible. The bonus crit rate she gets from hitting opponents from behind does get added to her transferable crit rate so make sure to use her skill first before using her burst now her burst also does huge damage over time if elemental reactions are taken advantage of whether it be melt or reverse melt much like how shincho's burst is used in a vaporized comp now let's talk about her constellations overall rosaria's constellations aren't game changing even at c6 compared to other four stars c1 gives her increased attack speed and normal attack damage by 10 percent on both but you won't really feel the difference now c2 is great for rosaria in a cryo application role as this gives her two more ticks of damage on her burst burst and reduces the downtime of her burst to 3 seconds assuming you have good energy recharge. C4 gives a bit of energy, not a big deal. Now C6 reduces enemy's physical resistance by 20% after getting hit with her burst. It does give a significant damage increase for a physical DPS Rosaria but this is more valuable when she is used as a support for a better physical main DPS such as Razor or a primer for Shinyan's burst. So I don't think you need any of her constellations but for the melt team comps C2 will be valuable valuable and if you main physical dps razor shinyan or even beidou her c6 is a good damage boost all right now let's talk about builds for a physical dps rosaria if you're a son of mihoyo and you have an r5 crescent pike then that is the best in slot. Staff of Homa, Jade Spear, and Vortex Vanquisher are all good 5 stars on her. Skyward Spine falls off in a physical DPS build. But an R1 Crescent Pike can match the damage on Jade Spear in my testing. R1 Dragon Spine Spear is weaker than Crescent Pike, but still good. Deathmatch and Blacklift are the other choices if none of the previous mentioned are available. Just choose whether you need crit rate or crit damage more. For 3 stars, Halberd and White Tassel are the recommendation. For the artifact set on a physical build Rosaria, the best is a 4 piece gladiators finale with some caveats four piece gladiators finale is very hard to farm so you would be better off farming two piece gladiator and two piece bloodstained now if you have a really good four piece gladiators but you're using crescent pike then you still should go for the two piece bloodstained and two piece gladiator because the crescent pike passive damage is affected by the two piece bloodstained bonus there is an option of going for four piece retracing bolide if you're using a shielder in your team however i believe that it is a dps loss when you switch to another character put your shield on and then switch back to Rosaria and in that time frame you could have done five normal attacks and you would have done more damage that way but if you're gonna be using a shield anyway such as in high level content like in Abyss then four piece retracing bolide is a good choice I know for cryo DPS Rosaria Staff of Homa is the best and all the five stars are good four star options are black cliff pole or deathmatch depending on the crit stat needed three stars are the same as physical DPS Rosaria with halberd and white tassel being their recommendations now the artifact set for cryo DPS Rosaria my recommendation is a two-piece blizzard and two-piece noblesse oblige you just want to pump the damage on her cryo and her burst because her burst does a lot of damage over time 
You can go for a four piece blizzard destroyer in a freeze comp but i think that is overkill on the crit rate and you would better benefit from the 20 percent more elemental burst damage from a two piece noblesse oblige now for a cryo support rosaria this is when you use rosaria in a melt comp and you're looking to apply a bunch of cryo in tandem with your pyro characters and deal a lot of damage best in slot staff of homa jade spear and skyward spine are good energy recharge becomes more important in this role so favonius lance and prototype star glitter are the four star recommendations for three stars white tassel as this at least provides crit rate that rosaria can transfer the recommended artifact set for this is a four piece blizzard strayer or again two piece blizzard strayer or two piece noblesse oblige so here are my recommended team comps rosaria physical dps carry you want rosaria and then you want to put fischl in there for the consistent electro application so you can get super conduct and reduce the physical resistance of enemies and then shinyan and bennett for the double pyro resonance for more attack shinyan and bennett does combo well with the cryo application <laughs> The version 2 of a physical DPS carry is the double electro and double cryo comp. This gives you double cryo resonance, so 15% more crit rate, and gives you double electro resonance, so you can spam that burst even more. You can also use Diona instead of Kaya in this team comp, and you can use Retracing Bolide on Rosaria if you do use Diona. <laughs> For a Rosaria Cryo DPS carry, you can use Rosaria and then you must pair her with Chong Yun using a Sacrificial Greatsword so you have high uptime on the Cryo normal attacks. And this goes well with the whole artifact set of increasing your Cryo damage with 2-piece Blizzard and 2-piece Noblesse. Bennett can be used in any team to be honest because it increases the damage of the team. And then Sucrose for Cryo Resistance Shred. Now you can make an adjustment on this team comp by changing Bennett to Shincho and then you can use a 4-piece Blizzard Strayer for a Rosaria Freeze comp but also a cryo DPS carry. Now for a team comp with Rosaria as a cryo support where you're looking for a melt all day comp, here's your Shangling or any Pyro main DPS and then Rosaria with 2-piece Blizzard, 2-piece Noblesse or 4-piece Noblesse Oblige if not running 4-piece Noblesse Oblige on other party members. Then Bennett of course for more Pyro and more damage and then any cryo character. I recommend Kaya for more cryo particles and therefore be able to have high burst uptime on Rosaria. <laughs> And that is my Rosario guide. If you want to discuss this further, you can hop on my stream, fb.gg slash We go live every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Now, if you want to watch more Genshin content, you can check the page. There's a lot of guides on there. And if you want to discuss with the community, we have a Discord of over 5,000 members. Check it out. Link in the description. Hey, I'll see you around. <laughs> ここ。ここ。<笑>